Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, first off, I'm gonna say I'm not wearing any makeup. I just got out of the shower. I'm not even two weeks after surgery, so if you're gonna judge me, that's freaking great. But seriously, I'm trying my best. I like at least I showered. Okay, I'm just gonna say that. Um, but anyways, today is May 18th. I'm hoping I'll get this video up the day that I film it. Um, I mean, I have nothing better to do, so hopefully it will be the case. Um, I'm also filming this on my phone. My camera just died and I don't have time to wait around until it charges and I don't have any backup batteries. So kind of bear with me here. But anyways, I, I'm exhausted right about now. Um, but I guess I'll just get into it, what happened and how things went on. And you guys are probably wondering why it took me so long to get this video up. And, um, it will just make sense after you watch this. So hopefully I can, like, compose myself and get it together, um, to do this. So, and I'm, like, looking at my own face and I'm just, oh man, oh man, oh man. Alright, so I went in for surgery at around 10 o'clock on May 5th. Um, so it has almost been two weeks, but not yet. Tomorrow will be the two-week mark. Um... So all that was normal, I took an anxiety medication um, beforehand, that kind of helped. It wore off by the time I got to the hospital, so it wasn't like completely useless, but it still it was pretty like, it didn't do what I thought it was going to do. Um, so I got more anxiety medication once, once I got my IV put in, and that took a while um, to get all of that started. I was the last surgery of the day, so that was, that was kind of great um it was nice in a way but it kind of sucked because everything was really 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 slow moving and I get like things have to you know being the last surgery it kind of sucks and you're just kind of waiting around for the doctor to finish but I've never I've always been the first surgery of the day so being the last surgery of the day was a different experience and also with this infection that I had in my stomach and colon and all of that fun stuff I was put in an isolation room before and after surgery so that was definitely different. I normally will be like the first room in pre-op and this time I was on a different like side of pre-op in an isolation room and everybody that came in my room had to have like a yellow gown on and a face mask and gloves and like all of that stuff. So different nurses, different everything. So that was kind of crazy but I mean I dealt with it. I understood the circumstances even though my infection was at like the, the last um, the stage of it but I still had it so I understood all the precautions that were taken. Um, my surgery took not that long, I don't think, maybe like an hour, hour and a half, um, and then I left that day. So everything went well, he put a screw in my foot, um, and I have x-ray pictures and I want to show them, but I left them somewhere, so I'll have to get those by the end of this, um, I will show those x-ray pictures. Um, and I'll try to insert a picture of my foot, how it looks right now, because it is all wrapped up right now. I still have stitches and everything, but I'll try and do that at the end of this video. Um, but anyways, everything went fine, uh, so we thought, and I was doing well. I was still all numbed up and drugged up, and my mom took me and got some food, and then we went home. Um, so we went home, and I was resting. I was in my mom's bed for a while, I think. Yeah, I was in my mom's bed for a while because her bed's more comfortable than mine and my room is kind of at like a completely different end of the house. So I, it was easier for me to be in her room. Closer to the bathroom, I didn't really have to go upstairs because there are like three stairs going to my bedroom, like off to my um, right, I guess. Um, so there are a couple of stairs and so it just was easier for me to be in her room and I prefer her bed over mine anyway, so... So yeah, I was in her bed, um, and I, after surgery, I don't sleep well, I, I just, I don't, um, so I didn't really sleep that much, but I did a lot of resting, and over the weekend, um, Friday night was fine, I was taking my pain medication as scheduled and stuff like that, but Saturday was when my pain kind of went downhill, um, I, I kind of know what is okay pain and what is, like, not okay pain, like, Obviously, it's going to hurt really bad, and with mine, I, it has hurt pretty bad, but um, I was feeling different pain that didn't feel right. It didn't feel like anything I've ever felt before. It didn't feel normal. It didn't feel like just regular old, like, post-op pain. It was, like, really, really, really bad pain. 
no pain pill touched any of the pain and resting. I, there was no way I was sleeping, nothing. So I spent a lot of time crying and screaming and like just suffering in pain. And we have my doctor's phone number on like speed dial basically at this point. We have his cell phone number because obviously on the weekend he's not going to be in office. So we were calling his cell phone, like asking him what we should do. He ordered in new um, pain pills to a pharmacy, hoping that would help and that it didn't help. Um, and so Monday, I had a doctor's appointment to go in on Tuesday because they like to do like four day after surgery checkups or whatever. So I had an appointment on Tuesday, but he wanted to see me first thing on Monday. So I called on Monday and tried to make an appointment to get in and they were like, oh yeah, at 2.30 in the afternoon, come on in. And I told them, I said, well, he said first thing, so if you have any openings, like, just come on in. And she's like, actually, yeah, just show up and we'll get you in as soon as we can. So I showed up at the doctor on Monday and this is with no, like, pain relief over the weekend. There was nothing that I could do that would relieve the pain at all. I maybe got a few hours of sleep, but really nothing. So I went in on Monday and I had no idea what he was going to say. So he unwrapped my foot and I'm going to try and put this picture in too, but he unwrapped my foot and my big toe looked so strange. It didn't look like how it should have looked at all. Like I understand seeing a foot after surgery, but this was not a normal like after surgery sight at all. So he was super worried. Um, we didn't take any x-rays or anything. He just looked at it and said, we need to have surgery again today today we're having surgery again like this is it we have to um so i um my mom was at work my dad was at work my um my dad's mom took me so my grandma susan took me and i just looked at her i was like what i have to go in for surgery again like this has never happened um and so what i learned happened was so if this was like my foot and this is my big toe it's just easier to show with my thumb I have a two inch screw that is directly like from the tip of my toe down to the joint so that my toe doesn't bend. So I have a two inch screw in there. So what had happened was he put a washer on the screw. I don't know how that works, but he put a washer on the screw when it was in my toe and the washer was pinching tissue. So it was pinching good tissue and what that meant was I was, if I just went about it like no big deal, I would have lost a part of my big toe, like a majority of my big toe because it was pinching off all of that tissue and cutting off circulation and all of that. So it was kind of an urgent, like urgent matter. We had to get in there and have surgery like right away. So um, thank God this, the hospital is like right across the street from my doctor's office. Like literally someone could walk there and it would take like not even five minutes. So it was right across the street. He ran over there. Um, he was getting things ready. He was making phone calls in the hospital was like, oh yeah, we can get her in um, on Tuesday or Wednesday, but not today. And he said, no, you don't understand. This girl's going to lose her big toe if we don't get in today. We need to get in today. So they finally made it work and I had surgery at like four o'clock that night. And at the time I was at the doctor, it was 11. So I waited five hours um, and I was eating and drinking that day. And so he was like, okay, just no more food right now. Just, you know, cut it off now. So you go, you know, five hours without food in the middle of the day. That sucks. It's one thing, you know, at night and in the morning for a little bit, but in the middle of the day, after just a normal day, it kind of sucks. Um, he said you can use water to take medications and stuff like that, just a tiny sip, but don't be chugging the water, which I get. So that surgery was very stressful. It only took about half an hour. Uh, my mom was able to come and so that was nice, but it took about half an hour to 45 minutes. It took me longer to wake up than the actual surgery took. And this time he wanted me to stay the night in the hospital. And I have never stayed the night in the hospital before. I have like one time and I was in the emergency department and it was completely different. Um, I was just waiting for hours and hours. So it was like, I guess I stayed the night, but this one was like, I had my own room and you know, brought breakfast and lunch and then a dinner and stuff like that. So it was completely different. I had nurses coming in every like 10 minutes and taking vitals and looking at my foot and checking on me and making sure I wasn't in any pain. and stuff like that and the pain was almost like not instant relief obviously but the next like the day that I had surgery I felt nothing because I was numb but then the next day I was back to normal um the normal amounts of pain and stuff like that so that really helped there was definitely something like severely wrong um 
Uh, so that was like one of the most stressful things that I had to go through in regards to like foot surgery. Um, but yeah, so I stayed the night and I was not the happiest camper. I am like super rude. Like sometimes, like if I want to be rude, I can be rude. If I want to be like a total jerk, I can be a total jerk. And that's what it kind of was. And again, I was on all sorts of drugs and medication and I didn't exactly like know what I was doing. I did, but I didn't. Um, so that's not an excuse. I apologize to all of the nurses after the fact because I was a jerk. Like, I was so rude. And even to my mom, to my cousins, like to anybody that came, I was rude. I did not want to be there. I did not want to stay the night. I just wanted to go home. I didn't see the point in me staying the night, which now looking back, I understand. But at that moment, I was not having it. Not having it at all. So I got released. Uh, discharged I guess the next day around I think it was like 24 hours after the surgery so around four or five ish and came home and was in my own bed and stuff like that and everything was fine um but yeah and I just recently um on Tuesday so today's Thursday on Tuesday I had a checkup with the doctor and everything is looking good um my toe is kind of floating um higher up than he wants it to be, if that makes any sense. I don't know, like if this is my foot, my big toe's kind of up here and my other toes are normal. Um, it's kind of hard to tell and I can't show you because it's all wrapped up. But um, but yeah, so it's kind of floating a little bit more and I will have to do physical therapy after the fact, but um, obviously I'm not to that point now. My stitches come out on Tuesday, I believe, the 23rd. I think that's a Tuesday. Um, so yeah, that's going to be interesting. I'm very excited for my stitches to come out. That makes showering so much better. Right now, showering sucks. I hate putting a trash bag on my foot. I absolutely hate it. It is so hard. It's hard enough with like, you know, not being able to put any weight on your foot, but putting a trash bag on it and only being able to wash like certain parts. It gets stinky and it's disgusting. So I am definitely ready for those to come out. But um, I'm going to try and insert those pictures right about here someplace. Um... And yeah, that's about it. Um, yeah, I apologize for my look. I'm going to try and go eat some food and drink water because I'm hungry. And um, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Um, and I will see you guys next time in my next video. Bye, guys.